Hey guys, it is I, Kuro Ninja. Originally, I wanted to make another video, but it's gonna take a while. So this will be my very first video of 2022. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining one of my favorite idol groups known as Melissa. Now it all started in 2019 with this group called Idol College. An announcement was made that there would no longer be Team I, Team D, or Team C. Instead, Idol College would be divided into two subunits known as Melissa and Hot Pass. Now although both me and the Kuro Ninja of Earth Zero are Idol College fans, and it was the Kuro Ninja of Earth Zero who introduced me to Idol College, I wasn't really interested in Melissa at the time. The five founding members of Melissa were Haruna Sato, Haruki Wakabayashi, Ayu Suzuki, Mutsumi Miyoshi, and Hanami Kawabe. But as part of Melissa, they are known as Paru, Bayashi, Ayu, Mutsumi, and Hanami. Now, I don't know where the name Melissa came from, but I might have an idea. I asked the Kuro Ninja of Earth Zero about this, and his idea is that came from Greek mythology. And in Greek mythology, the Melissa are nymphs who take the form of honeybees. And I noticed that whenever the Melissa members talk about Melissa, they use the bee emoji a lot. So this explanation makes sense. Around the summer of 2019, Melissa released their first three songs, which were called Melissa, Dead Heat Drive, and Sentimental Days. I've covered all these songs except for Sentimental Days. All three of these songs are really good, and the reason why there isn't any music in this videos because I want you to experience it for yourselves, especially Dead Heat Drive, even though it has nothing to do with Kamen Rider Drive. Another thing that happened at the time was that I started becoming a fan of Melissa. This was also the part where Haruki Wakabayashi became my favorite member of both Idol College and Melissa. In late fall of 2019, Melissa released some new songs, bringing their total of songs to nine. These new songs were Imitation Warriors, Planet Dance, Disease, Dreamers, Berserker, and Shinkai Pearl. Out of all those songs, I've only covered three of them, and Planet Dance is the best song out of all of them. This was also the time when Melissa had their first one-man live event, and what that means is that they were the only ones performing in the live event. Now, before we get to the next year, there are two major events that happened in 2019. In August 2019, Hanami graduated from Idol College, but she would still be a member of Melissa. But then, after Melissa's first one-man live, it was announced that Ayu Suzuki would be graduating from Idol College. But what makes this different from Hanami's graduation is that Ayu would also be graduating from Melissa as well. In February 2020, Melissa had their second one-man live where they revealed a new song titled UTPA. After listening to some of the lyrics, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Utopia or something. And on March, Ayu Suzuki had her final performance as a member of Melissa. She also graduated from Idol College. After that, months passed and not much happened until it was revealed that Melissa had three new members, Misaki, Aina, and the one who would later become my favorite member of the group, Yuki. None of these new members were part of Idol College, which meant that Melissa was now its own Idol group. Now, you might be wondering why Yuki is my favorite member of Melissa. Well, if you're familiar with my content, then you might know that I have some really interesting dreams, and sometimes those dreams can influence the Kuro Ninja multiverse. And one of those dreams was about Yuki winning the WWE 24-7 Championship, but it's not just because of my dreams. Yuki is also really good at singing. And now the three new members were added. Melissa had now seven members. Okay, so anyway, in June, Melissa released a song called Requiem. This song stands out from the others because it's not a rock song and it has a slower tempo than the other songs. Melissa also released their first album, Gather Way, two months later. But then, at this time, it was announced that Haruna Sato would be graduating from Idol College in November. Just like Ayo Suzuki's graduation, Paruna would also be graduating from Melissa. This would later become a significant event in the history of Melissa, depending on who you ask. If you ask the Kuro Ninja of Earth Zero of the significance, he'll probably tell you that's one of the possible causes for what he claims to be the Idol College curse of 2021. But if you ask me, I think it signifies the conclusion of Melissa's metamorphosis from a subunit of Idol College to its own idol group.
Not much happened in 2021 until March where Hanami graduated from Melissa. Not only did this bring the group back to five members, but now only two out of those five are also Idol College members. April 2021 was where things became more interesting. Melissa debuted their new costumes in a live event, and they also released a new song called Go My Way, which was also a collab with two other idol groups, Stray Sheep Claymore and We Equals Mukashi Banashi. Go My Way reminds me of Kamen Rider Ghost's opening theme, and there are so many songs with the same title for some reason. I'm somewhat familiar with Stray Sheep Claymore because one of their members has the same name as Earth Zero Kuro Ninja's favorite character from the anime Data Live. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. Melissa's new costumes were designed by Haru Nasato. The next thing that happened was that Melissa released another song called Melissa Melissa. No, I'm not joking, that is actually what the song is called. And it's a really good song, I recommend you listen to it. Around September to October, I think Yuki was popular in the J-pop idol community around that time. And I'm not sure if this happened in October or November, but Melissa's next song was called Letters. After that, they started a YouTube channel, which I'm subscribed to. And in December 2021, Melissa ended the year with their third One Man Live, where they debuted a new song called Dances with Wolves. I think it's their best song of 2021, even better than Melissa Melissa. Overall, Melissa has some really good songs throughout the years, but I'm not good at conclusions, so that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you will never reach the sky until you find hope. Thank you.